Virgo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Virgo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heffa. Pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Virgo, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support of the channel. Absolutely. All right, Virgo, I love you. Um, and you know, when I start the reading like that, and we can already talk some meat and potatoes here, okay? Um, we need to talk about spontaneous movement, quick decisions, uh, happenstance, uh, compulsive decisions. I feel very anxious in your energy because I feel like you are about to do or you have just done something extremely um, just out of the blue. Out of the blue. That's how I feel in your energy. You know, good, bad, or indifferent. Life is life. You know what I mean? But I just don't feel... Um, I'm not at ease in the, in the energy, you, you know? So I pulled the Psychic Tarot Oracle. We're going to see what's going on. Can I have Virgo, please? Please and thank you. Hello. Look, conflict and defeat. Woo, Five of Swords energy. I have accelerated motion. That's the Eight of Wands. All right. So just as fast as you're getting in this mess, you're going to get out. Thank you, God. Hello? <laughs> Woo! I was nervous. I ain't going to lie. I was I was um concerned. I really was. I was concerned. Okay. Um, Conflict and defeat, as you can see, this person feels like I can't go on anymore. It's not worth trying anymore. You know, I feel defeated. I'm going back the other way. But accelerated motion coming in is um, guidance, um, quick downloads, of um, opportunities, uh, quick decisions, quick moves. And there's obstacles. Yeah, you got you're, you're in a pickle. Virgo, I love you, but we got a pickle here. God darn it. It is a crown chakra. I like that. OK, and there's OK, the chariot. All right. All right. Whew. Virgo, we in a pickle here, okay? Darn it, we in a pickle, all right? It is what it is. Let's get out of it, all right? Let's get this spread. We're going to get you out of this. I don't know what you done signed or where you went. You made a quick uh, move. You signed something without reading it. You made a commitment to something that maybe is overextending you. I, that's how this feels. I feel overextended. You know, maybe you bought something that's, um, you know, a real expensive or you made a commitment to something that's going to put you in a financial bind. But we're going to get right out of this. Hold on. Let me have Virgo's core. Please and thank you. I want the center of the energy. There's the self-sabotage. I expected that. But we have a lesson here, the Queen of Swords, and we got to work our way out of it. Okay. You know what? That's something we ain't scared of. We ain't scared of work. We ain't scared of work. That's all. Got to work. Got to work. What's coming with this? Change. And then focus. Okay. What you don't see coming is it'll work out in the end. It's going to work out. All right. We got balance. Just, oh, yes. Woo. Man, this was a lesson, though. Shamalama, mother loving ding dong. Um, it's a teachable moment. I ain't gonna lie. Um, heavy emphasis on Libra. I have to say that I smell, I smell it. Even with justice, you saw behind here. Okay, heavy emphasis on Libra with this queen. Uh, also, um, 
Aquarius and Gemini, I have to mention it since I mentioned Libra about the queen because it is an air energy. But uh, don't get caught in the signs, okay? Feel the energy. You know how I feel about that. That's how you know when you're resonating. But you may have uh, heavy air in your chart. You might be like a Virgo uh, Libra cusper. Um, and you're going through great change in your life and you either did something, signed something, or you're in the caught up in something, but it feels like a self, kind of like a self-sabotage. I think you move too soon. The thing about it is keep your head focused, keep your head down. You can work your way out of this. All right. We're going to work. We're going to, we're going to get this taken care of. Hold on. Crown this energy for Virgo. The King of Cups, emotional control. Don't freak out. Do not freak out. That's how you're going to get through this. Stay positive. Stay focused. Keep your frequency high. This is not a time to hit the floor. Oh, my God. Look what's happening to me again. Oh, my life, my life. No, we're not doing that. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, my love. No, no. Okay? We're going to pull down from this King of Cups because this conflict be it external or internal, can be controlled. It can be worked out. It can be worked through. But you're going to have to start with emotional control. The King of Cups is the King of Emotions. He's the father of love, okay? So even if this is a relationship issue, all right? Maybe you making a quick move with a relationship. Keep your emotions in check, the king, I tell you all the time, he'll walk by his queen knowing that's the love of his life. And he will say, I don't know that heifer. Uh-uh, I don't know her. But it's not because he doesn't love her. It's because he doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve. Um, and because he knows how to distribute and when to distribute, when to expose, you know, his emotions. To whom is worthy. That's emotional control, maturity, and intelligence, okay? Because this, this issue is unavoidable. I, I'm not kidding. I literally have uh, the five here, which is conflict and defeat. Now here, we have some great downloads, but I have another five, which is obstacle and challenges. I have a five here, which is the five of wands. You know, uh, the same with that obstacles and challenges. It's, 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 it, we got, some, we, we got some stuff going on and you might not want to face it. Two of swords is here, but you know, this is something. Hmm. I don't want to say that Virgo, cause you're going to be mad at me if I say that, but yeah, uh, this is something for sure. You, it, it, it's a, um, it's a hands-on experience. We're going to call this a hands-on experience. That's what we call on this. All right. Now, let's see what the problem is. What's working against Virgo right now? What's... I have the lovers and I have the nine of swords. Virgo, let's be very clear. Man, this feels like Libra. Um, this is not an attack on your life. This is simply hands-on experience. The lovers and the nine of swords working against your energy it means that you're kind of stressed out about where your life is going, what you're doing, who you're going to be with, where you're supposed to go, how you're supposed to get there, blah, 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 blah. You, you know, life is life in, all right? You you may even be stressed out. I tried to commit. You committed to something that maybe uh, you uh, didn't, maybe should have taken more time to investigate, you know? Uh, because lover's energy represents commitment, and here's the devil coming in with it. And that's how you feel. Do you feel like this is an attack of the enemy? And I think that this is going to work against you because I want you to understand that the queen, does, when, when her sword comes down, it's not an attack of intent to harm. She's a teacher, you know, she's still feminine energy. So it's naturally to nurture and teach. The sword still cuts. Absolutely. But she'll kiss your boo-boo. You know, the king, maybe not. But the queen, yeah, she'll kiss your boo-boo. This is a teachable moment and experience, all right? And this energy here, if you have Capricorn in your chart, you're over-obsessing. You know, if you don't, you feel like it's an attack and you're stressed out, worried about your uh, place and direction, you know? What brought this on? Where is this coming from? Ooh. 
this is come i don't really want all of that i really didn't we don't want to write books here virgo you expect it yeah okay i have to take it you had expectations of not just things only working out but actually kind of taking off you know I expect that I'm going to put in this little, I'm going to do this little thing or I'm going to receive this little thing. And then all of a sudden, boo, 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 boo. So I don't know if you made a bad investment. Um, like I said, maybe you signed something, you made a commitment, you know, to something, but in your mind's eye, it was supposed to have been kind of ordained for you and you were you were supposed to get this blessing to take off so if i had to put this in a perspective of business your expectation was all you had to do was this and then you would be able to receive that boomstick and unga bunga your way through the rest or through whatever the problem may have uh, occurred if i was driving yeah i expect to run into flooding but i expect for my car to make it through you understand that i'm just trying to give you um scenarios of the energy all right but that's what happened in the past and you did get the passion and power that you got but i think you took this unga bunga stick and uh, Eh, I don't know. The Knight of Pentacles is with it. I, maybe bad timing. You move too soon, move too slow, whatever. I, it's, timing is off in this energy. I have to say that. I'm surprised the wheel isn't here because the timing, now that I pull up the past with this, the energy shifts. It, there's a shift here. There's a timings issue. Um, I know a lot of the astrologers on the social um media are talking about the moon and the sun and the shifts in energy maybe that affected um your alignment with this lovers here coming up working against you you may have a shift in direction and you didn't see that coming where's this going for virgo hello dang did you just do that? virgo why you snatch that on my hand like that mean all right, nine of wands, judgment, and the hermit. You work it out because that's what you know how to do. You're going to work it out. Nine of wands energy is an energy of defense and offense. You know, I know what I'm protecting and I know what I stand for and I know what I'm fighting for. But man, has it been a battle. You see the scarf on his head, the bandage on his head. It's been a battle. He done been through some stuff, but that, you know, he's still, he's still standing and that honor and integrity is what's going to bring in assistance with judgment. Judgment is going to put an end, a quick end to this so that you can get back to uh, who you are, where you stand, where you're going, what you're doing. Uh, hermit energy, you know, is very wise. That's your energy. That's your true uh, core right there. Okay. But the fight goes on. You're changing, not the circumstance. Let me say that again. You're changing, not the circumstance. Okay? So just don't think because you're divinely covered, protected, loved, and you got heavy hitters. I know y'all got heavy ancestors. I know your ancestors is heavy hitters. I mean, they heavy hitters. I mean, top dogs. We talk about that all the time. But that don't mean why you ain't wearing this flesh suit that you're going to put your dukes up and bob and weave some stuff, you know, and that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to actually face this, even though you don't want to, because remember, your expectation was that you were divinely going to be able to unga bunga your way through it. Okay. But what it is, is. Ooh. It's going to take a little more. It's going to take a little more because this manifestation with this um, hangman, all right, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces right here. This means that you're going to manifest instead of, God darn the wisdom that's coming out of this. Hold on. See, these shifts are insane. I don't know what the shifts guys, this, I don't know. The shifts are all in your energy. I, I don't know if, um, 
I can literally feel it as I'm speaking. I'm sorry. Uh, hold on. Because we just, th that was just another shift. So when you go into this, this new shift, uh, the manifestation will be kind of like not asking for, I don't want money to pay the bill. What I want to do is I want to know how to see the situation so that I can uh, have peace with the bill or um, I can balance my budget or I'm trying to put this in the words even with life you know I want peace in my life I want to be able to live this life in the middle of the storm in the middle of the chaos and still hold and maintain my balance uh my peace my optimism you know my uh uh frequency I want to keep that high you're manifesting a higher god darn a higher self Forgive my emotions, guys. This, whoa, look at this divine gift coming in here. That's what's going to bless you. When you get into that energy that you're saying, I'm not, Lord, I'm, you know, the most high creator source. Well, I don't know, you know, I'm not getting into that. What I'm saying is, is that when you get to a point in your journey and you start applying knowledge and of your past, of your experiences, of the things that you've learned, and you're following divine guidance, and you feel wayward on your journey, then you'll start not just asking for things. You understand? Mm. You start asking for a higher self. You want to see things through those higher self eyes, uh, those divine eyes, uh, you want to operate in that higher frequency. So as you call in that energy, you will step into that energy. God darn. And you get a gift anyway. You get a gift anyway. You get a blessing anyway. You understand? Now, what comes with this, see the thing about seeing things different is you see things different. Okay. And sometimes that hurts. I ain't gonna lie. Because once you see, you can't unsee, my love. Once you open that door, there's no closing it. And um, uh, the, yeah, you're going to yeah. Okay, I'm not going to go into that. But um, you yourself personally, um, as an independent energy, you reground, repurpose, replan. Okay? Because now you have insight. It's like insider, we call insider uh, trading. You have insight now. You have a uh, different perspective. So you choosing to do things different when you're making moves and things are difficult, you just make a different move. We're not buckling. You'll know that whatever is happening, you can defend yourself and you align with that energy because of the intuition that you have. You understand what I'm saying? And that intuition and frequency and knowledge and foresight, come on, high priestess, yes, is going to allow you to work through, out, around, um, even, um, what do you call, decipher is what I want to say. Decipher? Yeah, I think that's the word. Uh, your download's better, okay? Because now you're operating in whole truth and you're learning, come on now, to stay out of those toxic situations that emotions got you into. Oh, Shamalama mother loving thing. Come on through here, Virgo. God, if, if I had my pop pops, this boom, bye, rah, rah, rah. I can't with y'all. I got to stop right here because in a minute, I'm uh -huh, we're going to flip this table. Okay, let me come back. Because what you're going into by summer, uh, fall months is amazing. I can't wait. I like, seriously, I can't wait to even be in that energy with you. But right now, you got some work to do. Okay. You got some work to do. Control your emotions. No stress. Okay? I know it's easier said than done because this can be headaches, depression, anxiety. I mean, pick one. It, it Sleepless nights, you know, things like that. Yeah, they work against you. Okay? Worrying about direction, connection, assignments, things like that work against you. And unfortunately, what centers this is an issue of doing something without full knowledge, full information. Um, it could even be, like I said, a betrayal that you're finding out about if this is a partner. So, cause that is sneaky energy. It's almost, I'm sorry. I didn't pick that up earlier. It's, it's a little bit of theft here. I have to say, I'm sorry. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, love you guys so much. I hope this helps. If any event you say, I don't know, green eyes, this is not for me. You know, I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Just don't take the energy. Leave it here for someone else. Okay. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's absolutely free and it supports the channel. If you're interested in supporting a little more, I do have donation information below the video. And always remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.